Shadows settle on the place that you left Our minds are troubled by the emptiness All right, hello everybody. This is me again playing Life is Strange Before the Storm. Uh, the, farewell, the farewell episode came out, I want to say about a week ago, but I've still been busy with uh, the move I've been making with the new house and everything. But I wanted to give it a shot. I, I spent a little time just kind of listening to the soundtrack and it just kind of chilled me out. So if you watched the previous episodes of Before the Storm, you know, I wasn't really too keen on everything. It had moments where I think it worked. Um, I'm trying to come at this with like a more neutral tone like how I started the first episode before the storm. And by that I mean I'm, I'm trying not to come at this with too many expectations. Like, it seems like it's just an episode about Max and Chloe from before, from when they were kids. So I'm just gonna try and look at it and see if I can enjoy it and see if just can, it can elicit any emotion on that part. I don't expect to have anything interesting tie into any plot like I was expecting for before the storm itself. So I just kind of go, there we go, bonus episode. Yeah, farewell. So I don't know, I want to see how it goes. Love the art style still. Um, but yeah, so I don't know, I, just, I kind of come at this with no expectation. I got Coco with me, my dog. She's sleeping though. She's sleeping. She'll be in the background, providing snoring. Maybe, I don't know. All right, but let's do it. And if you're wondering whether or not Mercedes will call again like she did during the uh, Life Before Storm playthrough, I don't know. She's at work right now, but if she gets out in time, Maybe we'll get a surprise guest call. Just maybe. But yeah, I'm, I don't know. I, I, I always assumed this would happen like the day David died, which we already played in the flashback in the first game. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Life in plastic. So fantastic. Whoa, what? Dynamite? It's dynamite, baby. <laughs> Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. Mom always I cooks with the radio on. A hole in the floor. It's not gonna make a hole. Even when science means blowing shit up. Their voices are cute, but man, Chloe's still dumb. <laughs> Let's just set fireworks off in the house. I mean, this is this is kid stuff though. So I'm a little bit more forgiving, if anything. Don't touch it. Have, if you've ever watched it, there you go. Ever watched a Wiley e. Coyote cartoon? You know not to touch it when it doesn't go off. <laughs> Tell me that wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen. Is the audio a little low? Oh. Uh. You're insane. You're insane. That explosion was massive. You say that like it's a bad thing. Pretty sure your mom would think so. Let's hope she didn't hear. When she asked the audio me my old junk, she never specified. It sounds really low. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. So this is before Dad died? William died? Feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over now. Wait, what? Is this her narrating backwards? Or does she know she's gonna move already? In a few days, my whole yeah. family moves to Seattle. She's gonna move! I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. So her, her dad is already dead. Or did it happen after? Tell your best friend. Because the way the story goes, it always implied that her dad died and then Max left. Release me. I better help Chloe with her cleaning. A hoodie! It, it's mine now. One long last Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. 
I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. Save it. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. Oh, I love when hoodies have holes in them. In by mistake, right? No. It, it, it's fine. It's filled with holes. And Can I have it? It's I rad. Never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. I love it. Really. I'm a little bit loud. There you go. That's better. Take it. I want it though. It's the worst, Chloe. Come on, Max. Help me out here. Find something for me to trash. I don't know. I'll open this drawer. What you got? What you got? Pokemon cards. Pokemon. Is that in bad taste now? I feel like it is. I don't know. How about these boy band trading cards? Oh, I was kind of right. Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? Sharpie boob jo It was, uh... Yeah. You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was... So wow, Chloe's ruining everything even before she was depressed. Yet, our friendship lived on. Don't ruin K-pop for me, so Chloe. Will these cards. Big Bang and BTS. I love them. Don't draw boobs on... I mean, you can. I, mean, I don't think they would mind too much. Alright, so, Chloe, I'm trying to help. You keep telling me to put things down. We should clean this. I can never tell if Chloe is my best friend because she makes me do crazy things or despite it. Both? Mr. Sharky! Accepted. Who got accepted where? I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she Blackwell? got this letter. Blackwell? Marco Gonzalez? Oh, so this was the previous director of admissions. My dog is snoring, by the way. So this is when she first got accepted. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Max's voice is still so super slow. Classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about... So did you want to be a science geek? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. Push further! Chloe, you are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know, I just, I like hanging out with normal people. Like... What's, why are they not normal? Thanks. I guess. What's not normal? I mean, they're all freaks. Oh, well, there you go. I hate fake people. They're fake. You're real. Thanks. Thanks, I guess. Uh, high chart. Alright, so she hasn't done the dad stuff yet. So I guess he's alive? So I guess he died while she was away. That's oh, your bed is. I didn't even notice that. Your bed's over here. How quaint. What's that? I can't report card. Oh, is it gonna have good grades for once? As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in PE though. Wow, back when Chloe had good grades. Look at that. Sharky, I don't want to trash Sharky. And Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. Sharky and George. She plays with it anymore. You want me to toss this? You better not be thinking. That's what I thought. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <laughs> Sorry, chum. Get it? She said chum because it's a fish joke. Fish! That shirt is cute, though. What's that? Beyblade? Let it rip? What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? A what? Serious biohazard. How is it half-eaten if it's a jawbreaker? Together, no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. Ugh, no! Uh, only because we're friends. You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy lives on. <laughs> oh, why'd you do that? That's gross. Don't! <laughs> okay. Don't throw it in there. I can gross. Chloe. I'm done arguing about trash with her. Oh, that was it? I guess that's all that's in here. I guess I can look around, though. It's a camera. Uh, Max doesn't know what to do with that. 
Menagerie of Magic. Do you want me to throw this out? This seems like a good candidate. I'll throw it out for you. Are you insane? That's my Okay, the, this whole thing is like no. I don't want to throw anything out. Hold on. I can feel there's a tiny bit of an echo in my new house, so let me just uh, close the door. Hang on. No, no, Coco, I'm not leaving. You just you stay right there. You wag your tail. Ah, you're trapped here with me now. Just like you were ten seconds ago. Ha! You never use it though. You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe Silly because dog. my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician yeah, never reveals her secrets. Put it back. Ah, uh, fine. Picture you getting down in the picture tube. Can I touch those? No. Okay. Chloe Bear. Oh, jeez, camera, calm down. Look at all these clothes. Clothes for Chloe. Can I trash it? Jesus, camera. Oopsies. <laughs> Come play with your friends. The game, oopsies. To the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. <laughs> escalators, 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 escalators. Eo. That's BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Escalators, escalators, Four escalators. Max. Losing your memory. Eels. Guess we'll have to play again. It's such a funny episode that. of SpongeBob. All right, <laughs> fine. It's just sorry. The game. Fine. What do you want to do then? What are we doing? I pressed A. Hey, did you see my dad's camera yet? I actually did. Well, I looked at it and then I said no. That's the camera. Um... Bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool oh, okay. over yourself every time he uses it. So that's the one she eventually gives to us when we come back to town as a gift. Sure. So he's still alive. Tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. But first, let me take a selfie. Actually, it's kind of cool. Yeah, I look like a dork, so it's cool. Apple That's bottom it. jeans. I'm calling officer. Not if even you close. Trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for. So is this episode gonna be just in her house, or we're we gonna we're we gonna go around, right. see places, do things. Now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two under-supervised friends... We didn't clean anything, though. ...rooms and clean slates want to get into today? We didn't clean anything! I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Tell her now! Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her... Tell her now! These kids are bad at lying. Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. Don't be a bad friend. Her eyes are so big and cute. Can I have the hoodie yet? No, how to. Shit. Max. All right. I don't actually have a choice. Great. Digging around in here. What is it? Do you have any idea what this is? It's a. Uh, it's pirate related. Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape. Is from five years. So they're like what twelve? A message from our past selves to our current selves. So we like a time machine? Not a time machine. Time capsule. Crazy. I can't even imagine. What Sorry, somebody honking like crazy outside my busy street. Ready to find out? <laughs> a vast future wayfarer. Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> yeah, it's blue because she gets her dyed hair blue. Yarg! We'll be coming to you live with the Let's Play. Bringing to you commentary and entertainment most fair. In a world without gold or videos, we'd be heroes. 
Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. Ah, I'd be doing none of that and getting scurvy, you filthy land lover. <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned. Dig five paces west, but mind the but mind the dog. Nice. To find the treasure of pearls. His droppings be most foul. Need the map from the manuscripts of Oh, they actually hit a treasure. The treasure is I want I want Max to just push over Chloe. He's like, the treasure's mine, Arg! And just start running out the room. Then, only those with <laughs> pure hearts will be able to see. Nothing about pirates have pure hearts. No pirate has a pure heart. Not even Jack Sparrow. <laughs> treasure hunter. Dude. Is that what we're doing? That was That's funny. Hilarious. We were so, so ridiculous. We still are, Max. We still are. Okay, okay. Forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. Yes, Coco. Hello. Treasure. Where are you going? I think I know what. Treasure hunting. By the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Well, you can't escape. I locked the door. That's right. Our old sketchbook. This is where You're we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I don't. How am I supposed to read this? The bane of Arcadia. Ah, my voice hurts. Okay. Ah, uh, that's funny. Well, Coco, you might as well help me with the treasure hunt, because you're stuck here. She's just staring out the door. Oh, Pogo the pirate! Rarg, Pogo, raise the mainsail! Coco, hoist the collars! What are you doing near my recording equipment? What are you doing in front of the TV? You're mad, Coco! This is a mutiny, I say! Get out of the TV! You're blocking my view! You scurvy dog. You wag your tail like a, like a, like a thing that wag. All right, there you go. You left. Okay. Uh, no boys, no sharing pirate secrets, no bathing. Always share plunder. Yeah, that's what a five-year-old says, no bathing. Always share plunder, always bury treasure, always protect fellow. Failure to obey these rules results in plank walking. Another day of plunder, blah, 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 blah. Only readable to us. You walked in front of the TV again. What are you doing? All right, I guess you can sit there then. And yawn, because you're so tired. This looks like a page was ripped out. Where's the map? I wonder if it... I'm the map. Where's the map? Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? Coco, what do you there's, think? There's no way I would have thrown She it just yawned at me. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? So we have to find it now? Coco, help me find the map. <laughs> Is it, oh, that's a sketchbook we just dropped. No. No, I mean, it's in the clothes pile? No, probably not. On the wall? Um. Ooh, a photo. Wait, how do I, I don't have a camera, though. This angle is perfect. Oh, I'm using her dad's uh, camera? Hi. Get in here, dude. But first, let me take a selfie. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. So is this where her love of photography comes from? That's cute, I guess. Precious memories. What's this? So I thought it said sex ventures. Sewage venture. Do you want to pet it? Oh, that's funny. You are very stupid, brave. Wow. Someone put a lot of time and effort into this. Aw. Please. <laughs> but next time, please do the book report, you idiots. Oh, yes. Take that, Rat King. It's in the... No. I'm going to lie down. You find it. You look for it. You get out. Hi, Coco. It's so hard to believe. 
this room, this house, this town. All in the past now. All right, the treasure be mine. Or soon to be. Who even am I without Chloe? Oh, that's sad. She's the one. It's sad because she's younger. Starting things, pulling us into adventures. Hey, cool. Welcome back to the bed. I can't imagine life without her. So then, is it just that you feel guilty when you're gone? I haven't told her I'm leaving yet. I tried to tell you. I still can't believe it's real myself. Th this might answer one of my biggest gripes about the the story with with Max and Chloe, and it's that Max purposely makes herself distant from the story. After, during, before the storm. It's like she doesn't talk to Chloe for whatever reason, even though she's her best friend. And I don't get it. I don't get if it's guilt. Like, I don't understand where that comes from. Like, I as a person understand what it's like to not talk to people for a really long time. I, I have that same problem. Where like the, like where the longer it becomes is, is, you know, just the more guilt you feel when you eventually have to talk to them. And say like, oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't have an explanation for what I did. It was just a shitty thing or time. You know, just time passed. Um, but I don't think my friendship was nearly as strong enough as, like, what's being represented here. Although it is a representation. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. So there is. So her old books. I wonder if where her old books, textbooks. Oh, here. I was, that wasn't examinable before. I thought. Whatever. But there it is. Well, it's a good thing you don't throw out any of your trash. Bingo. And Bingo was his name, oh. Okay, so where do we... Okay. That's the Price Castle. We go to Treasure Island? Is that where we start? The Dark Cavern. Uh, and then Chloe's Secret Lair. Wait, wait, which way does this go? Does it start at Chloe's Secret Lair? Because that would make sense to me. Also, this can't be outside the house, because no way five-year-olds would go outside the house for this. Unless they were taken on trips by their parents? I don't know. You guys figured it out. This now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and... Five-year-olds are not this smart. Which we hid inside a dark cavern, a.k.a. the attic. Ugh, why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old. They would just be like, I hid it under the rug. You think it's still there? Should be, as long as the clean police haven't gotten to it first. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, once we, we have the amulets of Amun Ra, treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage. And the Hubble telescope. telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You Which is outside. Swings. Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. I tried to tell her already. If this has to My be choices last matter. Year, might as well have one final pirate adventure. Pirate adventure. Okay. We discovered that the house was actually fake. In the attic. Oh my god, I can finally open this door. That door was forever sealed. The dark cat. In both before the storm and life is strange, Maine. Crap. Oh no. To the attic if I can't even I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. I need to find someone's hopes and dreams to stand on. Excuse me. I thought they locked it behind me. It's a toolbox. Toothbrush holder. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much. And they will continue not to change over the years, except for maybe a case of blue dye. Nope, there it is right there. Except maybe that's brown. I don't know. Is it just me or the camera is like juddering a lot? Like it's like when I go into a certain spot, it like freaks out. Yeah, see, like that. That's weird. Rip it out! I slipped and broke this post a few years ago. But Chloe insisted on taking all the- So yeah, this is reminisce on the past. After she got grounded, she never squealed. Coco, stop looking at yourself. What a friend. Stop it. Pay attention to me. All right, well. Look out that window. I wonder if- 
Look at this town. And yes, we will look out this view again. Look at these clothes. Two whales makes the best Belgian waffles. Best Belgian waffles. waffles. I love diners. No other diner could They're great. come close. Mercedes is a, a diner in her town, and it's amazing. Okay. It's so sweet that Chloe's mom takes this photo with her to work. That's very adorable. A step stool. Oh, is that supposed to be a joke on the, the eventual stepdad? It's a pamphlet. It's awesome that Chloe's mom. The College of Arcadia's early childhood education really program. Really good at it. Oh, if this is what you want, we'll find a way to make it work. So Chloe wanted to go. Plane? Who's going on a plane? Doesn't mention a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, Chloe is such a nature nerd. I bet she's gonna love it. I bet she's totally gonna love it. She'll t Nicotine go- who's smoking? Chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking. I guess it works because I don't see any gum in the future. Look at this old ass computer. Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. Transitioning to new more challenging environment. Um, I'm very concerned. would like to work if you take steps. What was her behavior? Oh no, Principal Wells is still there. Fuck him. God damn it. I wonder if he's still an alcoholic though. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so look, oh, her, her behavior is already bad before her father passes. Or, well, I don't know, bad, but it seems like she's having trouble. It is a new environment though. So this could just be normal adolescent um, issues of growing up and all Chloe that. Chloe get into a fight? Oh, okay. She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. Chloe was not the only student to act out, and if you ask me, Marissa Rogers isn't the victim, she's the bully. Maybe both sides of the story were heard before placing Bame. School will be less challenging environment for students. Focus on your school, I'll focus on my daughter. Ooh, well, there you go. That's what happened. Chloe's still getting caught up in situations that are problematic. Voicemail? I wonder if it's still there. I don't want Chloe at Blackwell. We'll figure this out, I promise. Mrs. Rogers called a while ago and left the message. It's still in the answering machine, but be careful when you listen to it. I don't want Chloe to over here. We need to figure out how to handle this. Isn't in danger, but I still worry. I really wish I had siblings. Pressure washer. Okay, I want to listen to that message then. I want to hear what happened. Um, we will forget you. I'll be right back. Excuse me. I've got to find that answer ah! before I meet Chloe out. Fine. All right, let's uh, go to the attic then. Well, I need a stool. Stool, stool, stool. Stool time. When you want to grab a stool, you need something better than a mule. It's not quite you stack a few things. Eat something, there. right? I don't know. I'm a stack. Stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks. We're gonna take you higher and higher. Now put it on top. Yeah. I just need one more thing. What, 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 one more thing? What, what, what? What? It's probably in the bathroom. Rip out the toilet. Head bent over. Raise up posterior. Head bent over. Raise up suitcase. What's I need? Is it in here? No. Is it in her room? No. What am I doing? Can I use a broom? Not bad for an improvised step. What else can I grab? It's still not tall enough. I can't go in there. Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. Dear God. I don't know what room this is too, by the way. Right, they have two broom closets. Can I rip this out? No. I just need a few more inches to reach the attic. So is it like a broom? What do you want? Chloe's oh yeah. Are so cute. That's really cute. All right, I guess I'll go in the wardrobe. Maybe a coat hanger. That seems right. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and snap into Chronicles of Narnia. Maybe use the trophy. Low strikes. <laughs> how can that be so cool and so dorky? Because it's bowling. That's how bowling works. Okay, wh what? What do you want me to do? Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time? Towel? I May I have towel? I really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. Dear God in heaven. Where is it? 
Picture. I can't believe I won't be able to call Arcadia. Baby Rip it out. Much longer. The books. That's not safe. How is that a better idea than a suitcase? This puzzle's dumb. Just use the broom and swing it down. Or a coat hanger. This is dumb. You're dumb. I hope she falls. Yeah, fall! Isn't it supposed to like... Is it just a ladder that comes down? Is it just a hole? Because a lot of the attics like that usually have staircases. Like I've seen some that are just the hole. Like it's like a broom closet or a closet. And it's you just climb up. So I'm confused as to how that works. Like, is there a mini stair? It looks like there's a mini stair. Awesome. Of course we go into the creepier place. You know, I'm not really afraid unless there's like a Bart Simpson clone in here. Man, this is gonna be like Gone, well, now it's not scary, but. I was gonna say, it's gonna be like Gone Home. There it is. Oh wow, it's right there. It's gonna be like Gone Home, where like nothing really happens and it's scary, and like all the tension gets ripped away. And this camera is terrible. I need to find a way through. It's a quib. Her parents couldn't part with this. I wonder why they never had another kid. See where Chloe gets her sentimentality from. Probably money, but. I remember it took this thing like a hundred years to rewind the land before time. Nostalgia. Land before time. Push! Why don't we take the chair and just push it somewhere else? I think I can squeeze through now. You can? Press A, you squeeze. You didn't really squeeze, that wasn't too hard. You did it. You did it. Mm, 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 mm. I want to say it's nice to be playing as Max again, but I don't know if that's true. Because Max was kind of boring, and the time powers were, were time powers. So that was interesting, at least. Hello. That's full of decorations. Why are you sneaking? Chloe made when she was five. She Fish. thinks they're embarrassing, but I remember this. Chloe refused to get another goldfish Calico after Jack. she had to flush. We'll always remember you, Calico Jack. Not a single country record. These must belong to Chloe's mom. What's this? It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult. God, her animation of like this, the way she's modeled right now, looks like that movie, um, like the, the fairy god witch Halloween movie, if you're familiar with it. The, anima the, the uh, um, animation style is really off-putting. It's kind of an endearing movie, but eh. Careful! The old time treasure cove. You want me to push? Or pull? Can I pull this? It looks dangerous. I guess this is a puzzle. But it's just point and click. Careful! Don't do what you did last time. Closer. One step closer to the edge. And I'm about to have a break. How can I not squeeze through here? Shut up, really? Look, come on. I guess I can push here now. <sighs> this desk's pretty heavy. I thought you said you could do it. Stop complaining now. All right, now I get, yeah, I get with this. Glad this thing is- Cola. You know, you're not supposed to be cleaning up here. What the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Wait, the wait, wait, what? The amulet's over there? I got twist turned upside down. Didn't I come from this way? I'm actually really confused now. Um, can I pull this to the side now? Okay, there you go, that's the puzzle. 
I'm gonna get out. It's probably just gonna auto get me out. Yes. There you go. I did it. I remember one of my favorite references to fast travel is in um, Tales of Symphonia, the first Tales of Symphonia, where yeah, you can squeeze through, where um, they go through like a sewer dungeon, and then when the characters talk about in like a, an outside of, of of plot, like there's little skits you can trigger optionally outside of combat and and uh, see regular scenes, and it's called I think it's called fast travel, and it's just like oh we gotta go back through the sewers that sucks to get out of the town because we can't walk in the normal way because it's like uh, plot reasons. And it's just like, oh, we'll just fast travel. And then everyone else goes, what? And he goes, yeah. And he, and he goes, what the fuck are you talking about? A photo. This is a nice close-up shot. But they're all like, what are you talking about, fast travel? And he's like, ah, never mind. Well, let's just go through the sewer. And I'm just like, oh, that's a, that's a really cute, like, stupid thing that they talked about. Oh, the, oh these are all the, pe the pictures. Okay. So that's the cavern, Treasure Island, and then Price Castle. Okay. Got you. This thing is cool, I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. Who's that side? Is it Pogo the cat? What are you doing? What in God's name are you doing? Chloe Price. My best friend. Ah, that's cute. It's so weird being back in his attic after so long. I remember being terrified of this place. It is a pretty scary if you're a kid. Kid, you're only afraid of things that can hurt you. But when you get older, you become more afraid of hurting the people you care about. I mean, I guess that's kind of profound. I, I think it's... Yeah, that's too. Spiders. I think it's more like, as a kid, you're more afraid just because it's hard to understand. Ha, that's funny. Yeah, I should be doing that in the future anyways. Have you now, um, it's, as a kid, you're more afraid of things that you don't understand. I'm gonna miss and as you get older, obviously you understand more, so it's like your first instinct isn't fear. Because it's like, oh, I know that's just a cat. You know, it's smaller than me. Or like, I know this is just an attic. It's dark, but I, I actually am big enough that I can see the scope of this entire room. Not like boyhood. Boy, it took 12 years to make. It broke new ground. That's what it did. You hear me? <laughs> it's Chloe. Cause most of us are bitter over someone Setting fire to our insides for fun 